Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by GhostBed.com! Blammo, 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 blammo. Welcome to Ross Patterson Revolution. James, you're on one today. What are you talking about? I don't know. You feel hot today. I feel hot? Yeah. I'm, P- I'm PMSing. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. You have a little so, bit of pee blood. No, and I've taught, I've taught the listeners and you sure. about PMS on this show. Okay. You guys get confused. The men sometimes, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. that's the majority of our listeners. So I, I want to reiterate that <laughs> PMS <laughs> is pre-menstrual. Pre-bleed. And that's the fun thing about being a gal. Yeah. Is that not only do you have that week seven days of nonsense, <laughs> I'll just call it nonsense, <laughs> but you have a fun four to five days before that. Yep. Of just uh, complete despair. And horribleness. Let me explain it to you in just one story, if I can. No, why not? Starting off, starting off hard. This is how I explain. Very heavy flow at so the top. So the other day, again, you understand what PMS is, right? I do. Okay. I do. I Free. Do. Yep. You bet. Fun stuff. This is fun stuff on the top, you guys. Oh, yeah. Listen up. <laughs> I was at the store the other day, in line. I never picked the right line. Do you? I do. I have a really knack. I like. I have a really great great knack for it. Yeah, great beak for it. You're great at it. Where like you'll somehow sniff out the exact, even if it's the longer line. Yeah. Somehow you found the right group of people that are gonna move through, right? Can I tell you why? Please. I I, man, this is gonna sound awful, but I'm gonna reveal my secrets. A lot of the stuff that you say. I go by age first. Mm -hmm. How old the people are in the lines, because that that determines where I go, Mm -hmm. and then Mm -hmm. I go by race. Of the people checking out or the people in the line? In the line. Um, I, go, I, go, I go by race. And then I also, then I flip it. And then I go by age of the person who's behind the register. Uh, race has nothing to do with that factor of it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but age certainly does. Where if it's an old man who's an, a retiree. Sure. Who's clerking. He wants to tell a fun story. Get a, get a fun story told to him. Uh, he's retirement. This is a little extra cash in his pocket little pocket change and he's fine with just shooting the shit all the way through the line whereas i'm not right right now i go age and race of the people in line Mm -hmm. and i'll and i'll tell you why race makes a difference it's not it's not because i'm racist or anything Mm -hmm. it's if i see somebody anytime anyone says that they're gonna say something pretty racist no no but if, if i see somebody who might not have a grasp and this is any race of the english language then I know they're going to have a lot of questions on the checkout um, or same thing it, it, like it, waiting in line for movies, the concession stand. They're going to have a lot of, oh, like really studying the board. You were it's wrong. Just like, man, you were wrong about one thing. What's that? About it not being racist. Now, listen, it so is not racist. Th- so I if you don't go- speak English and you're here. Sure. Right. Sure. Not again, not being racist, but you're having trouble with it's the items be, that. Sure. Like there's the questions on the thing and it's going to be an issue, right? It's going to take a little bit longer. And I understand. That. Correct. And I always choose the wrong line no matter what. Yes. Um, I'll be behind like a, a young gal, younger than me, right? Just yep. add a couple things in a basket. Yeah. And I'm like, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Going to move through. I'm, I'm guessing they'll probably have an Apple pay and just be on their way. Uh-huh. And she pulls out a Ziploc of coupons, right? Oh yeah. So that's the kind of stuff that happens to me. So I'm behind, I've, I've chosen the shortest line mm. the other day. It's an older lady, pretty old, real old. Ballparking age. Circa what? I'm going to go too old. Circa 1920? Too old. Or a little higher, maybe circa 30s? She was probably 80-something. Yeah, circa 40s then. 80-something, yeah, yeah, yeah. And But she had a couple of items. It was the shortest line. I go, let's just try it. Let's just try it out. Um, And I'm in line waiting behind her. She gets up there. She's she's about to, like, pull out a checkbook. 
Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? She's that old. And the girl, she's gotten wine. And the girl behind the counter is like, are you sure you're 21? Uh, Right? And she, what? Are you sure? Are you 21? Like, keep going with this condescending bullshit joke. Yeah. That young people do. And like, this is how I explain PMS. That interaction in front of me and like hearing her say that to that old lady ruined my day. I was so pissed about it. Uh huh. The condescension yeah. and the bullshit of yep. it. Oh, are you 21? Maybe 22. I don't know. Youngster, that kind of bullshit. Yeah. So that's how, that's how I explain PMS. Like things like that will just do it. Make you rage, yeah. Rage mm. for the rest of the day. Keep you up at night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand. Um, but I've, I've got this down to an exact science where it's very rare that I don't pick the right lines. Yeah, you already talked about the racist stuff. So, so yeah. it is not racist, James. I'm basing it Either on whether or not English, am I against English is going to be used sure. getting out of there. Sure. So, yeah. And you can tell whether they can speak English or not. Yes. You kind of give a little. Yep. A little listen for case, case in point. Um, we had a neighbor move in uh, next door to us. A uh, very Danny Aiello type of guy. Hey, oh, sure. hey. hey, you fucking cocksuckers. Mm-hmm. You fucking cocksuckers. Mm-hmm. Like that type of guy, right? Mm-hmm. And, and every sentence out of his mouth was, I'm thinking about getting a French door. I know a lot about French doors. Oh, okay. French doors. And you're like, oh boy. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I understand. French doors, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking French doors. Sure. Uh, he had a Filipino wife. Sure. I knew goddamn well from the way Good he was him. speaking, the, way, the tone of his voice. She didn't speak a lick. Okay. He picked her right off of uh, the stage somewhere in Vietnam or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I think she, yeah, I think, I think he said he was, she was Vietnamese. That's correct. He did say she was Vietnamese. Oh, okay. And it was just like, and, and she was, oh, oh, a lot of smiles and, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. oh, sure? and then left. Yeah. We had a meeting uh, for like HOAs or whatever it was, and then left 20 minutes in of like, oh, I, I, I got, uh-huh. I go. You know, and it was like, I go. And it was like, she looked at him and he gave her a wink as to say like, this is, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is why I married you is because you're supposed to leave and let men do men things, right? Oh, yeah. You did mention that at the end of the thing. You said it was so nice to see yeah. such a subservient, woman because <laughs> out of you i would have gotten a and you lot go, of and you kept like telling the story like gosh over it was and over nice again. to see that you know really was haven't seen it in a Great while don't even again. know what it looks there's, like there's no way he lets her vote um either in the upcoming election which is a nice thing too sure one vote in the house and uh and she was racing home to do some kind of thing for him right food maybe probably cleaning uh, Cleaning, setting up a massage food. table. Yep, yep, I don't yep, know yep, what yep. it was, but I know it was probably spectacular. Right? Yeah, and you kept saying that like all night after. Yeah, all day, all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, I can't get over how nice it was yeah. to see that it that was, man's wife, and I'm just like, what are you? Really kept? welcoming, yeah. but you know. So, for instance, if I'm behind, like I, I knew this, the look on this woman's face, right? And I, it's I was the waiting. Look of bewilderment. I, it, I was waiting for her to speak. Sure. At this thing, she mm-hmm. did because she finally had to introduce herself because you had to go around in a circle with this HOA you thing. Remember, uh... And and I I remember thinking to myself, I go, man, when it gets to her turn, I was so excited. I mean, it was it was little kid Christmas like, Eve what kind of excitement. Ming Lao, Ming Lao. I I couldn't wait to hear the broken English just to know that I was right in my mind. Uh huh. And as soon as it cracked of. Oh, oh, as soon as that first O came out, oh, I was like, oh, man, we did it. I did it again, you know. Um, and then she got it out and she was like, I, you know, ping, ping, whatever. Um, you don't remember? Ping my long. I, who knows? Don't care. Again, love. I love the Asian culture. Love everything they stand for. And as soon as she said it, I was like, man, I gave I think I think and I'm not sure. I wish there was videotape of it, but I think I gave myself a pat on the back mm-hmm. right as she started speaking of like, way to go, Ross. You're in you a got it right again. state of patting yourself on the back. Right and uh, I knew, I knew exactly what I was doing. And the first thought that came into my mind was that girl, if she was in line at a grocery store, I would have gone into the other line 
And I already knew it. I already yeah. fucking knew it. Um, but these little challenges that life I I like, gives you yeah, I like th- when you throughout your day. Pat yourself on the back for like, my racism is oh, justified, it is, right? It's not. My, my stereotype. It's not. And I'll the tell you. The stereotype I'll, I'll t- is real kind no, of thing. No, I'll tell you why it's Patting not racist. Uh-huh. It's actually the opposite of racism. Okay, but tell me how. I'll t- exactly, I'll tell you how. I would how. love to hear With it. this white guy, uh-huh. right, uh, he had a huge Dallas Cowboys uh, helmet tattooed on his arm. Right? Sure. It took up m- most of his goddamn arm on top, on top of the forearm here, right? And th- the way this guy kind of shuffled in and, like, the looks he gave to people, you know, very Aiello, hey, hey, what's up? We know, you know, we know, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way he did that, in my mind, that's the exact type of older white guy who marries overseas because most of American women would, would be offended by this guy at all costs, right? Mm-hmm. So that was his best option in this life. Mm-hmm. So it was actually, the racism was coming off of him in my own race of saying, oh, I know you're not getting probably the, the answers and the pussy you want out of American girls at this point in your life. Mm-hmm. He had to go overseas. Right. Like that was his only choice to get like, hey, you cook the meals, you know, I, mm-hmm. I, I bring home the bacon. I, 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 what do you want from me? I'm Italian. Like mm-hmm. that type of thing. And uh, so it was reverse racism to my own race. And that's how I got, got into that, where there is certain white people. And I have, I have one friend. I don't, know, I don't know if we've talked about this on the show. I knew from a young age he was going overseas and then that was it. Mm. Um, and then with this guy, same thing. I knew it. I fucking knew it, dude, mm-hmm. just by the way he talked. Because there is a certain style of man who appreciates that, you know? They're just like, oh, it's nice. You know, they don't fucking talk, and they just kind of make me food, and I can do whatever I want. I can go out with the boys. I can smoke cigars on Tuesdays, you know? <laughs> I, can, I can play dominoes, you know, on the stoop if I want to. Like, right, I could get goose in the, in the douche. Yeah. Um, so it, it was that guy that was the trigger, not the other way around. So... You can take your racism and stuff it up your your behold, Jabes. This one was uh, I could tell I could tell what this white guy wanted out of this life, mm-hmm. uh, and the way, just the way he because everybody knows this guy, and again it's very I yellow. Um, you know when when something gets passed to them, like the wife immediately handed it to him. And then he put on oh, the reading yeah, glasses, yeah. but the reading glasses were at the end of the nose, just at the end. So like you like can... you're you're almost you know annoyed by it with, mm, of like mm, uh mm. i gotta i gotta put these on the end of the old beak yeah to yeah, read yeah, whatever yeah, this yeah, is yeah, you know yeah, when it's yeah. just like you're not giving this uh, like a, a real read you're giving it a soft read you know giving the impression that you are reading for everyone else mm-hmm. but uh yeah so I, I knew it was on on this guy's agenda and look good on him i mean i guess if that's what you want you want again you kept talking about how great it was so yeah, yeah, maybe- yeah 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 Gosh, it's so nice to see. Really, really nice. Because I know it gets under your skin <laughs> over and over and over again. Where it's just like, oh, man. So, so subservient, loving <laughs> and loving. I think she gave him a sh- like a like a shoulder rub on the way out. Like, uh-huh. And I was like, fuck, You man. did mention that. Yeah, yeah. She put in like a solid 12 minutes of that before the, yeah. in front of everybody. And I was mm-hmm. like. Didn't try and make any decisions. No. Didn't, didn't own, need to, didn't have to. Without checking with yeah. him first. And you, you said stuff like that. And it's just so nice. <sighs> it's refreshing, isn't mm. it? You know, it's like, God, do we need to think yeah. for ourselves? Do we need to be married to that? You know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and I hear you. I so, yeah, hear you. It's, uh, it's, it is, there is some reverse racism to it, though. Because there is, man, there's older there is, there's white people that you can judge and you know exactly what's going down. If I see a woman, here's, here's the other part about this, the, the grocery store line. If I see a woman with a Karen haircut, a bob, mm-hmm. I know she's pulling out fucking coupons. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, that's the, I, I know I she's going to want to see the manager. Because I, I know fooled. one of those coupons is going to be wrong. She's going to want to see the fucking manager. That's going to cause the line to mm-hmm. back up even more. So like, it's all races, brother. It's not just others. Right, and I guess... That's my problem. I always choose the wrong line because I'm not racist. Do you know what I mean? Oh my God, dude. No, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's, you keep saying it's not racist and like that is for sure. But it's my own keep, race, yeah, James. No, it's my I own know. race. Mm-hmm. But 
Um, it's ageist. It's racist. It's ge- I mean, there was a Canes? whole lot of shit going on. If I see a cane, mm-hmm. God forbid there's a tennis ball on the end of something. Ugh. F that, bro. I'm going down. I'll take a longer line if I see a tennis ball on the just end of some walker. Just wanted to tell a fun, just a fun super, no, supermarket story. and a um, It really got taken from me, guys, and turned into a racist rant, and I am sorry <laughs> about that. Uh, I did not mean for that to happen. If, they, if you're listening at home and they bring a dog in, too, any form of dog, go to oh, the next little line. Little or... Little or big, go to the next line, because they're, they're going to want to talk about the fucking dog, dude. Um, and it's move on. Right. Go to the next sitch. Yeah. Uh, what, what, here's what you really want out of it, right? Male-wise, a nice metrosexual who's in shape. He's got places to go. Maybe he's sweating. He just came back from a yoga class. and is In line in front of you or checking out? Like checking you really out. Need to. Okay. Checking out in line in front of you. Maybe they're holding a kombucha or some, or some form of seed bar, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. Um, they're looking to shit their pants on impact. They want to get out of there. They want to eat. Uh, they want to eat this seed thing right after they got out of the, the, the Bikram. Uh, pound, pound in a kombucha. Mm-hmm. Shit their pants and get the fuck out of there. They right. want to go right back to that house. Shit, jump into the shower, move on with their lives. Boom. And I'll take that of any any race, anything. Like ages 25 okay, to so now we're getting into 40. sexuality. Now did you say metro? 100%. Or, or, uh, right, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh-huh. Any gay man? Uh-huh. Boom. Oh, in and out of there. I am with you. I am here for my gays. I get in line with the gay men. They're not yours. They are. They're, we're, I, I, I love them, man. I celebrate all of their shit, and I know they're in and out because they don't have time for that bullshit either. Can you cut me out of this? <laughs> like, can I be, like, maybe? They don't have time for that bullshit either. They really don't. Yeah. No, no. So. And they love being called yours. My gays, dude. Mm-hmm. But we don't say that anymore. Why not? I don't know. But we, we definitely should, we don't. always do. Everybody says, hey, I, know. I got my back gays, in the day, dude. We used to say a lot of other stuff back in the day, too, that we can't say anymore. We're saying it. I don't give a shit. Um, you know why? Gay people are the funniest, coolest motherfuckers on the face of the planet. They'll say anything. They'll say the most disgusting, awesome shit of all time. That's true. And they don't give a fuck. By the way, you know, I don't use the word faggot that much. But they, they do a lot. Like every other word is, and I'm like, holy shit, man. Um, they can. I, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, the level of what you read in the media about how offensive it oh, is yeah, 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 yeah. to the level that they use it in real conversations, I'm like, oh. I only gauge from Andy Cohen, and he said, you're not allowed to do that anymore. Oh, gay, for gays on gays? For saying my gays. Like, don't say my gays. We're not your pets. We're not your. I don't care. Your purses. I, people. Um, black, everything else. I'm just saying I'm going off of Andy Cohen on this one. Uh, people say black people say my white friends all the time. I, I'm cool with it. I don't give a shit. You can call me. You can call me your fucking honky. I don't give. I don't give a baker's fuck. Where my whites at? Yeah. I have. I have no like. I don't. I, I don't, that I don't subscribe to any of this stupid shit anymore. I don't care. It, any friends of mine out there of any other race. If you want to call me your white or your fucking honky. Feel free, dude. I don't care. I, I'm done caring about all this shit. But, uh, yeah, that's why I also look for uh, my gays in front of me, dude. Mm. Boom. They're out of there because they get shit to do. Yeah. Same as me. They get shit to do and they want to get the fuck out of that store. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, that's just a friendly tip. It's almost like fantasy football for checking out of supermarkets mm-hmm. or any form of line. Uh, if I go into... So you're saying your top pick is a gay guy from the gym yes okay. 100 oh 100 percent. that's my number one draft pick that is my alvin kamara of this year for fantasy football like that 100 percent, dude i'm 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 right here with you mine is a mom with a kid in the cart and a couple things because you're wanting to just get the fuck out of there okay so i i am the fastest because my kid is probably crying or whatever. I'm not pulling out coupons. I'm not. I've put my card in, you guys. Little trick at the store. You can put your card in at the beginning of the transaction. Right. So that it's just in there. The number's in there. You take the card out and you are ready to go. All they give you is your receipt and you're out the door. Yeah. So I would wager that I'm maybe a little bit faster than the gay guy, you know. Uh. I may have more stuff is the only issue. Yeah. But if I've got a couple just to need to run out for a couple things, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at the cart, look at the age of the kid, age of the mom, and that's probably your best bet. Okay. 
I'll just say that. Uh, movie theater, by the way, because I, I took my, my child to see a Toy Story 4 mm -hmm. over the weekend. Uh, movie theater, no kids. If you're going in concession line, and that's race free on that one. Uh, and if, you, if there's any children there, it takes them fucking forever to pick out stuff, sure. including my own, where yeah. they'll just go through it. And it's just like, all right, cool. Well, you know, mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm in a child's movie and I get it. But uh, I don't know or, if that's something you need to be in a hurry. Or, at. Uh, well, it depends on what your movie is and if you're trying to get good seats for it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, or bros. Don't go any white. I'll, I'll change that one race. White bros in a line now because mm -hmm. every movie theater has beer and wine now. Oh, so if yeah. you get white bros college age, forget it, dude. There because you get two drinks a piece. Mm -hmm. Usually the girl behind the counter is underage. She's got to go get a so fucking manager. To the thing. And then you got to get a bracelet and then you got to go down, fill it up, uncork it, do all the shit. And it's like you're there for an hour and you're like, man, because four dudes, each of them getting two drinks a piece. Forget it, dude. Uh, but yeah. the rest of it, hey, you know. You've definitely checked all the boxes, I think. Yeah. You've gone Asian, just, I understand life. Asian, black people, Mexican, gay, yeah. women. Yep. What else did we? Bros and kids. So yeah. I think we've definitely checked all the, the boxes. Now, I want to talk about Anne Frank. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Um, for the rest of the show man i got we we got we get weird at the top here i look we always get to our sponsors like 20 minutes in so oh, uh to you guys who put this whole show on the way i'm sure they're gonna be stoked about this whole show uh ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros now this is for people of all races and ages you can just hop right on a ghost bed most things are but yeah. you can take your time take your time with it you know Take your time. Yeah, you can take your time on bed. that checkout because you're doing it on your computer door. Con correct. At home. And it's getting shipped straight to your doorstep. I don't have to stand behind you in line. Yep. I, I don't give take a shit. Take your time, hem and haw. Yeah. If you're military or first responder, you get an extra 15% off. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click it, and then fucking load up that cart, dude. You're getting pillows, sheets, mattresses, adjustable bases. Cooling pads. Yeah. Um, all at a fucking sweet, sweet discount. Uh, if you're a regular civilian like myself, you can get two hundred dollars off a Ghost Lux mattress and free pillows. And they got that bundle package still going for seven ninety nine. Oh, geez. I did see that it was a one time use though, um, and it's still there. I think a bunch of people were ordering it, and they were just like, "Hey, bro, you can use this one time only." You should stop. You slept on um. You had a sleepover with the kid the other night. I did on the How ghost bed. How was it? Phenomenal. So you he, could never sleep on a kid's bunk bed. No. In so the past, he got right? a. Uh, so we got we got the ghost bed mattresses for the the bunk bed, right? Um, and it was a single. Obviously, you know, I'm a tall drink. Sure. I'm 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 a very much like a young Abraham Lincoln in that mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. um, also, my mind is as well. Mm -hmm. You know, um, just the way I deal with things, very measured. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I go on this ghost bed. It, yes, I'm, I'm, my feet were hanging off the end. Sure. Whatever. But I had the ghost Whatever. pillow. <laughs> yep. On the twin mattress, I slept like a little tiny bug in a rug. <laughs> and it was amazing. Uh, I had his first sleepover on the, the new I kid's bed. I thought for bed. sure you'd be coming back in like, oh, dude, I can't. And you nope. slept all night. Slept like a midget on Quaaludes. You know, okay. there's one we didn't check off today. We did oh, now. Oh, dang. We did now. Um, so, yeah, I, I great night's sleep. And uh, even on a twin, even on a tweeny twin. twin. So go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get on them deals, yo. Get on them deals. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> Boom, 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 shabloinkers. Everybody's drinking the Stratkas, man, all summer long. This has been the summer drink again, I feel like. Um, and they just keep getting bigger. We keep getting bigger. And uh, we keep getting wetter. Nope. Nope. We definitely keep getting bigger. That's for okay, sure. Okay, but not wetter? Nope. Okay. Okay. So you would say there's, you're, not, you're not getting wetter on the this. The same amount of wet I've always been. Of wetness? Okay. Mm. All right. Well, uh, I am. I'm also getting harder. Uh, if you want to get harder and wetter, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com today. Give yourself a nice little, 
little tan pack. Did you put some in your booch? I thought I saw I did, you. Did yeah, it. I did. Now that's a nice combo. I put a twinge in there of a ridge uh, before okay. we came on air. Okay. Felt like I needed it today. Uh, we we decided against talking about the shootings and whatnot. Um, oh, this airs on a on a Wednesday, and mm -hmm. and by that point, everybody will have said everything you could possibly say about it. So we said, hey, you know what? We're gonna have a fun show today. We're gonna yes. keep it lights. Keep your drive because lights. That is a horrible tragedy, and we all know both, that it is. Both. And uh, it's been covered a million times on everything else. Uh, instead, we're going to cover racism and shopping lines because that's the real. <laughs> Four amazing flavors of Strike Force orange, a ridge, a lemon, and make America grape again. They ship everywhere in the entire world. No carbs, no sugars, and it lasts longer than five hour energy. I have got a boner for StrikeForceEnergy.com. Put it in vodka. You'll be able to go all day without puking all over your friends and your ding-dong parts. Uh, promo code REVOLUTION at StrikeForceEnergy.com. 20% off. And they have a subscription of the month, which we've had for fucking... I looked four years now we've had that. For StrikeForce? StrikeForce, yeah. Four Dang. years. you believe that? Uh, and we just get a box of 40 cents to the house every fucking month. Pretty awesome. So, uh, feel pretty positive about StrikeForceEnergy.com. Last but not least, this is what you came for, Jabes. What is it? StraightRazors.com. Come on. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there it is. But I'm the uh, racist one. <laughs> I'm the racist one. Yeah. Choke on that. I am racist against Asians. <laughs> oh, God. Only. And we have decided <laughs> as a nation that that one's okay. This is why we're in a trade war. Uh, Straightrazors.com has got everything you need to be a real man in this life. Shave. Shave on me. Well, well I'm strong, strong. Mm, and I need your blade. Mm, I'll help you shave on. Nailed it. Shave on me? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but shave. Um, they've got. <laughs> they've got. Uh, Blamo, you're dumb. They've got cologne. Somebody hit me up. Uh, they we're watching the video show on YouTube, and they're like, "Hey, is that cologne on the desk?" Yes, it is. It is Smolder. It's my favorite scent there is. Also, uh, they have fucking um, the Smolder Aftershave, which is the business, dude. Yes. And so the Straight can, Razors, you can get engraved. You it's can a nice smolder kit. up from yeah. uh, top to smolder taint. Up, smolder up that uh, taint and get on it. From nape to taint. Oh, well, nape to taint. <laughs> nape to taint. Go to straightrazors.com. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION. And you'll get 20% off. That is a big boy savings there. Absolutely. I don't see colors except for white and yellow. Oh, God. I can't. I can't even do this with you anymore, Jabes. What oh, I can do can't is this. You can do it with me. Thank you for uh, my service. Uh, the book oh, that I wrote hey. with my best friend, uh, Matt Best, about his life is coming out two weeks from today, people. Oh, my God. 13 days. It is available. Um, he is going on. We tape on, on, we're taping right now on a Monday. He's going to Ben Shapiro in like two hours. Um, That's crazy, dude. I know. It's great. Matt, tell me about your book. <laughs> uh, don't, tell me about your book right now. Um, so he's going on Ben Shapiro right now. You're going to see Matt everywhere, and uh, it's for the book. Uh, just know it's, it's, it's one of the funniest books of all time. Uh, weird time that he's got to go do the talk show circuit um, for this book right yeah. now. After what's happening. This happened... To him and Evan before too, right? Where they happened were to him pushed. and Evan before, and it happened yeah. to me before too yeah. with Howard Stern. Yeah. Um. So shit, man. Uh, not that you're complaining too much about that, but yeah, I'm not at all. Um. But but it it's you know you're excited to go and do these yeah, shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then tragedy happens, and uh, and everybody wants your take on it. Um. And it's tough, man, because you've you got to answer, and uh, you know the show goes on, obviously, but uh, yeah, man. Um, weird, weird, weird shit happens, and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, some people, some people back out though. Uh, Matt's not going to; he's going to stay and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, others have. I remember reading that SNL book. Um, when they said Ben Stiller backed out of the 
the That's post show. Right. And who ended up doing it? I think it was Reese Witherspoon. Was um, it? Look, look that up. Look yeah. up uh, Reese Witherspoon SNL. Alec, look up Reese Witherspoon SNL 9 uh, 11. I think it was her who stepped in, if I'm not mistaken. Um, because that he just didn't want that gig, I read. It, it was, was Reese Witherspoon, yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, there is times where you're just like, I, I don't feel like doing this. I remember uh, I did this movie uh, that was in Sundance with Winona Ryder and Joseph Fine and Juliette Lewis. There's a bunch of people in it. Um, Chris Penn was in it, Sean Penn's brother. And he died the night before the premiere. Oh, that's right. So there was a million press outlets that were there and uh, half the cast backed out of talking on the red carpet. And I was like, eh, I'll fucking talk about it. Let's go. Show goes on, you know? Um, and no, it has to. Yeah, yeah. Because look, tragedy happens um, all the time, but it's like, why, just because you're in, in the limelight or doing something, why can't you talk about what's going on in the world? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, the cool thing about Matt is, look, if there's anybody to have a more thoughtful conversation about guns, yeah. it's Matt. Um, so I uh, wish him the best of luck, but you're going to be seeing him everywhere in the next uh, three weeks, all over your televisions and uh, radio sets and uh, VCR tapes and stuff. So um, uh, just, just go there and do it. Uh, since we're talking about VCR tapes, I want to bring up these app companies. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm embarrassed to say this, uh, but we, for the first time, I, I, and I think it's maybe because our kid is finally of age to do shit like this right. with Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. I did not know that it was monetized so heavily mm -hmm. that you had to just keep buying shit in order for your kids to keep playing. Yeah. Um, and I, and, and, and I'm, I was not amped about it when it's like you get through one night and they're like, oh, would you like to play again and get more balls and go, go fucking hunt more creatures? Great. You're going to need $6 every time. I know, but we talked about that where it's like a special thing that you guys can do. And some of these motherfuckers are going all every night. I know. It's crazy. And they are spending. That's how they're racking up money. So Harry Potter rich. just started Sorry. a game or whatever, yeah. right? So the reason why I bring this up is we do a lot of production, a lot of videos. I do a lot of fucked up videos on my Instagram just to do it. Like just cause it's, it's fun, you know, made sketches forever and it's a blast. There was this app, uh, prequel is the name of it. And I was testing it out over the weekend. It's awesome. So you can, it makes it, you can do like sixties looks, VCR mm. looks, all this other shit. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, Oh, would you like to, would you like to not have the watermark in it and go pro? And usually I'm like, all right, cool. Apps four or five bucks. You move on with your fucking day. Four ninety nine a week. Mm -hmm. They're charging mm -hmm. a week. When I see people that use it all the time, I'm like, "Ooh, you rich!" What the fuck, man? It's the same family too that uh, Uber eats McDonald's all the time. And oh, I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're rich. I mean, I haven't made it yet because I literally cannot do that. Just, every day. I, just as an and, app on your phone to pay. Fuck, man. What? 20 bucks a month people are gonna get tired of that old looking shit too so then what that's the thing is like i made it so i made a couple videos with it and then i was like eh, all right i'm done yeah i can't just keep posting shit with a, with a vcr look on it over and over again no because people are like mm, getting your getting your money's worth from that app or yeah, yeah 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 right <laughs> and that's the whole thing i know one guy who does it all the time it's um uh dale dantoni okay uh aka uh riff raff he does it all the time. Every video is in VCR thing. It looks great and it's fun. But well, yeah. it's hilarious and it fits his image of like mm -hmm. he's got the best moment in the world. And yes. uh, he's always wearing those uh, uh, Randy R Macho Man sunglasses, mm -hmm. which like I love. I've type stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I wear as well. And it fits his whole vibe, you know, and I'm like, all right, cool. That guy is def it's, it's definitely worth it for me. Yeah, you post a couple of videos. That's exactly what I thought too. I was just like, "Oh, we really fucking dragging on wow. with that." Uh... Once they charged you, and here's the here's the thing about the Pokemon, which I think you probably were bummed about, is that I just don't like when things are not upfront. So yeah, because I, I didn't hate know the like because if you, I was even thinking like, "Oh, we'll take him with his, you know, give him his phone when he's old or whatever to do it." No, because then he'll buy all the fucking shit. Right. Yeah. And here, here's and so the thing. So the other the kids we went I with, don't like. they were, they were just buying it as they were going. And like, I would look at their parents and I'm like, yo man, you cool with this? Like your kid just fired down $24 worth of shit in less than two hours. And 
you know, you have to fire the balls at the little fucking animals to get them or, you know, get them in the fucking cage or whatever it is, right? Um, I'm not a big video game guy, obviously. Mm -hmm. Never have been, really. Right. Um, and uh, as I was watching this, they were like, what, what am I going to do? I was like, I don't know, show a little discipline, but. Oh, I guess not. You know, I know who you're talking about. What, what am I? What am I gonna what do? Am, you know, uh, what am I supposed to do? God Very forbid. I, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Yeah. Um. So I was just like, yeah, all right, fuck it, I guess. Yeah. But I can't get into that where it's just like, man, that's fucking crazy to me. It's I'm crazy. definitely the mean mom. Are you? Yeah. 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 Known in the neighborhood. There was one the kid mom, who was. A, I tell my kids no. There was one five-year-old kid who grabbed my phone and was just like, because I was like, oh, we're out of bullets or whatever, right? This five-year-old kid grabs my phone and he goes, I can order it for you. What's your password? <laughs> You're like, like, how about no? Jesus, hombre. How about no? Yeah. Yeah. How about you don't control my life, bro? You know? And you guys fought. You don't sit in a fucking podcast chair, do you? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I punched him in the face, five yep. years old. Yeah. And that's just, that's what I'm saying. That's what you have to do sometimes. You know what I mean? I learned. I learned him. I sunned him is what I did. Mm -hmm. He became my son that day. Right. Hey, you know? Uh, but luckily, our kid doesn't seem to be that much into video games, you know? He doesn't really ask about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm never... I've made the mistake in the past of being like, oh, no, he's just not into that stuff. And then he fully is into it. And the parent was like, mm, how much is he not in... You know what I mean? I've learned... Like back in the day, I'd be like, he just doesn't really like watching TV, you know? I think he's just going to be. Now it's like needs to watch TV. All the do you know what I mean? Right. So I'm shying away from saying that he'll never do anything like that because I have no idea. It just depends on who introduces him to it, to it at what house and whatever that he'll be asking for it. The only thing I'm really, really, really trying to not do is tablet and phone. And so far, yes. compared to his friends, he's doing pretty good. He doesn't yeah. have a tablet. He's on the phone when I need to do something, but like it'll get out of hand at some point, I'm sure. But for right now, he's okay, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Yeah, and like cuz it's really hard and it takes so much energy to keep them off of it that you're like, fuck. And I look, I don't know if you saw the thing the other day with the Fortnite's got a championship. Mm. That game Fortnite. Uh-huh. That, you know, yeah. every kid plays. Our, our kid likes the toys. He likes the toys, but he doesn't even know why because he's never played Because it. of Titus. Oh, okay. okay. On, on YouTube. So he watches, you know, Titus on YouTube and he's buying Fortnite shit, but they're like, they're not really old enough to play Fortnite. Okay. Um, and that's strange to me where it's like, you yeah. don't even know what you're buying. Um, but maybe we've got it all wrong. I don't know if you saw this, but there was a Fortnite competition last week. The winner took home three million dollars. That is crazy. Yeah, and it was the kid was like seventeen years old, and he took three uh, home three million dollars, and they compared it to other salaries. the The British Open just happened a few um, weeks back for golf. Oh my god, I don't want to know this number. He made one million dollars more than the British Open champion. One million dollars playing a fucking video game. Yeah, well. he made one million dollars more. Uh, there was another one that that uh, we've had a lot of requests on Drinking Bros to on Drinking Bros podcast to get this this guy Ninja on. Mm. He's supposed to be the best video game player in the history of the planets. Sure, he had a full on press conference the other day, announcing that he was getting off of Twitch and signing up with Mixer, which is Microsoft system. Okay. It was shot like it was a Nike commercial. Go and look at it. It was a two-minute ad for it, and uh, he was taking pictures from the press. The way that it was shot, you would have said Tom Brady was walking into a press conference, and then because you, you see this guy from behind sitting in, and there's all these reporters and lights, and it's shot beautifully, and then it, you know, boom, lights come on, and it's him sitting down in the chair, and it's this fucking video game kid explaining why he's switching teams sure to go play for this other league and i'm like are you effing my b-hole here because it feels like my b-hole is being effed um I, look if you're at three million now you're making most than most rookies that are drafted a year most rookies that are drafted in like the second round of the nfl but where do you go from there I, I, it, it gets higher matter. yeah yeah it, it only it's only going to get higher at this point right um, I would rather hit, have him be into Cuban 
Have you heard of cubing? What's cubing? So I, uh, our nanny went to her his or her nieces or nephews cubing competition competition that they held at the convention center. So it's um, Rubik's cubes. Oh yeah, yeah. And so they like do, and it's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe I'll get them into cubing. <laughs> hey, do you cube? Do you cube? Uh, you know what I mean. You cubing? And that I don't know the problems. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. Uh, I would rather them use their game? hands and and have some form of and hand eye like coordination. Out, yeah. yeah, mentally than than sitting in front of uh, a computer screen blowing away shit. Right. So, um, but yeah. It's, by the way, speaking of Tom Brady, uh, this motherfucker, man. Was I? No, I was. Oh, okay. I was. Um, I I don't know if you saw this, but he just signed for two more years. He's forty two years old. He signed a contract for two more years to play through. He's forty four. As quarterback of the Patriots. What's the answer? What's, what's, the, everybody's, what's, his, what's his secret? Everybody's trying to figure that out today. And, Is it um, the TB12? I don't know, man. We've talked about the TB12 on How the show before. How you stay really, really regular, you know? If you're pooping yourself all day oh, long. Oh, yeah. and just four or five times a day. I mean, you just feel lighter, right? Yeah. And so, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, Was that Christina P. Pr- post? Oh God, that by by the way, because we should talk about that. Uh, you and I like to keep some mystery and romance going, so we don't talk about shit or pooping no. or farting or any not of that in stuff. like a real way. We don't try and do it in any way that's like the ex- <laughs> that is exposed to the other person. Yeah. Because I'm with you all day long in real life because we do this show. Right. You edit. We own. So it takes a lot of work. You're one of the owners work. in the media company. Right. It takes a lot of work to not be grossed out by the other person because that's kind of the last frontier. Wait um, a minute. Wait, well, no. what? If, if you're saying the things that Homegirl was saying. Okay, yeah. So yeah. What, Like if I was very honest about stuff all the time and just like left the doors open or, yeah yeah because yeah. there is couples that do that and you're just like man i don't know how you go home and fuck at the end of the night knowing right. all of that stuff um and still trying to keep it sexy sure sure right and especially if you've like had kids because that's a whole nother element so yeah yeah because i watched a mom at one of these events i'm not going to say who the kid it was a baby just pissed all over her shirt it was oh yeah 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 covering her shirt she didn't bother to change it. No, she's a listener. Oh, didn't bother to change it. Didn't bother to do anything, whatever. And all I kept thinking was, if that was you, and you were just soaked in pee for a good two-hour sesh at a party, because we were at a, sorry, girl. a birthday party. <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, hey, man, I'm sorry. I can't put my wiener inside of you. Right. And I would say, oh, boo-hoo. Um, <laughs> so, oh, please. I need it every day. Um, but, yes. Now, having said that, Christina P's post of your mom's house of your mom's house podcast, which we love. Yeah. Simply said, and it's her face like in a very just not <laughs> sexy angle, right? From like down and she's talking into the camera and she says, I'm in Salt Lake City and I'm farting a lot. And I sat down to Brown, but no Brown came down. <laughs> Cut <laughs> black. And I was just, uh, and you like, and it, you know, it keeps playing over and over and it's just her like, Basically her chin <laughs> in the fucking. And I love now as a comedian, I love you have to be able to be ugly and be gross to be a good female comedian. I believe same. And she's but really I, fucking funny. Right. And you're saying as a husband, I'm sure like that's hard for Segura. But at the same time, if she's going to be a real the real deal, she has not. She's got to not be afraid to be ugly. Like, whatever angle, right? Right. And she has to not be afraid to be too gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she did it. Yeah. She was not afraid. <laughs> but <laughs> I we turned like, to you, because I follow her on Instagram. I turned to you last night, and I go, man, this is really fucking funny. But, but if this boy, was my wife who said this, sure. I would be turned off forever. And I posed a question to you of, would you rather have a, a wife that's, like, literally putting her tits on Instagram and her vagina and like weird sexy videos like that or videos like Christina P's. Which would you rather wife wise? I, I actually prefer your style of just posting once a month. 
<laughs> like it's but great. I'm say, okay. I, I had this conversation I'm like, between those two things. I had this conversation with Matt the other day and uh, he's, he was posting pictures and he posted a picture of his wife. Right. right. And she was in a bikini by the pool or whatever. And I was like, hey, man, like it feels weird for me to like your wife's pics. So just tell her. It's not that I'm not liking her pics intentionally, but mm. when you're posting bikini shots and shit like that, like when it's just your wife solo, like I feel weird about that, you know? Right. Like, do you have friends that post shit like that? And you're like, oh, hey, man, I shouldn't like the picture of your shirtless husband by himself. Uh, I don't personally. Uh, they're all the same. <laughs> so, Matt, <laughs> you know. Right. Um, but I just like those because they're our friends, right? Yes. And they don't usually, that's the difference is like the guys aren't usually posting like sexy, like oiled up shirtless. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're just kind of like doing man shit and like taking a good picture. Right. 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 Where it's, so I've always wondered that too, like of the wives that Matt's had <laughs> or Jared and they just escalate as their relationship gets closer both of them they'll eventually get to the point where the wives are posting pretty much nude pictures of themselves right because they now have a following right a huge following yeah but to me i don't know that's another thing that's kind of weird it feels uncomfortable so you're like are you cool like is i know matt's probably not super excited about it i think he takes the picture so i think he's fine okay yeah yeah he's fine with it um so jared's fine with it like they're all fine with it i personally in my friend group don't have that issue but oh yeah 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 yeah. it's not a cute not a good look uh as a mom to do that kind of stuff but um <laughs> i saw one the other day this girl uh it was a mom and her six-year-old was taking like the selfies of her at this pool at mm -hmm. this resort. Mm -hmm. But like the mom was just like yeah, really just yeah, yeah. perked up. She's mm -hmm. leaned against the mm -hmm. railing tits out and the whole thing. Uh -huh. And the six year old was taking the photograph. Yeah. And somebody else was videoing this whole interaction going on. And it just said, uh Oh, cougars out here setting a thirst trap. Oh my God. Cause someone was videoing this happening. C oh, correct. Okay, okay. I hadn't heard the term thirst trap. Big fan of it though. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, welcome big, to the world. Big it's been fan around of it. for a really long time. But um since like VHS probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirst trap has been. Yeah. yeah. I feel uncomfortable being sexy anyways. Whatever that term is, right? Sexy. Like yeah. <laughs> I would feel so uncomfortable like taking the same pictures that these other wives are taking, right? Right. I would just want to make a joke of it or a weird face or, you know what I mean? Sure. To be sure. seriously, like, uh, genuine and earnest about a sexy pic that your husband's taking and putting, I don't know. I cannot do that. There, there was a, and that is just, the girl we had on uh, Gat for uh, yeah. Drinking Bros, she used to post hilarious pics. Oh, yeah. Um, that were awesome. Yeah, and and they're funny. Like yes. she couldn't do. She, I'm sure she's the same kind of person that couldn't do a serious, <laughs> sexy like. You know what I mean? Like a really sexy picture. Yeah. Um, there was an article today uh, about porn stars here that I want to get into. Please. And it says the the dirty little secrets outside of porn. Like, this was a bit, like, the Daily Beast posted this of, like, oh, there's a, a dirty little secret that, you, you know, porn stars are doing, and they're popping boner pills. Mm -hmm. By the way, Roman, uh, getroman.com forward slash drinking bros. Perfect. You want to get some boner pills sent to you is on drinking bros or one Perfect. of our big sponsors. Um, that is not a secret to me. No. I would imagine. You'd have it's to. part of the job, man. Because. You know? Oh, God, the amount of time you're filming. Yeah. Cuts and moving around and, you know. Yeah. You've got one shot. You got to, yeah, you got to go, you got to go one wood all day. one shot at the end, right? Yeah, you got to go so, wood all day. Then. Yeah, we're not having a couple, you know, situations. Yeah. You've got to get through the whole scene. This, this isn't. Uh, to the money shot. Like surprising or whatever, right? No, not at all. Um, so. Fuck, man. You get fired if you're too 
too soft mm-hmm. you know that from experience no just from i listen to this podcast about august ames and they go the dead one mm-hmm. oh we had, a, we had a we did a whole show on her you did with you rest in peace august my angel August. Oh my God. Okay, so then after August, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. You don't remember ah, that show? Yeah, okay. I still give people that quote that to this day. They go August. 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 Um, no. Okay, so anyway. You were my angel. So, anyways, they went into a. They did a whole investigative reporting podcast on her death. Yeah, because it was sad. It was sad, a because she was hot. Yeah. And sexy. Yep. Real sex pot. Yeah. Um, that was A, why it was sad. And then B, they thought there was some kind of foul play with the husband. Mm. So that was kind of a thing in the porn community. So this uh, podcast kind of went into pretty deep into porn and the ins and outs and you know, what happens in scenes if they're a little bit too rough and if they're soft, they get fucking replaced right away. It it is an industry where the girls are pretty, I mean, valuable and have a lot of power. So they can literally just be like, dude, I can't do this out. The good ones can. The other ones can't. Sure, Sure. Well, I mean, now listen, there's a you got to you got to work your way up to everything. Right. But once you are in that position. Yeah. You are the ones that like, so she was killed online because she had said, I don't want to do a sex scene with a guy that's done gay porn before. Yes. And she got killed online for it. And then she killed herself, apparently, which was, they were saying is why. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody because came after her. The, yeah. Correct. All the hate, yeah. which is, I mean, so in this exactly podcast, true. what was the, what was the. The final the verdict was, yeah, that she was depressed and, you know. Offed herself. Yeah. And yeah. there was a lot of other things leading up to it. And it's nobody's real fault. And the text that they were saying killed her came after she hung herself. So they were trying to blame it on this one other girl pod, uh, porn star that mm. was saying, like, you should kill yourself. And this or just being. Who was it? Who was the other girl porn star? Do you know? It was some other person big that she really cared that was like big in the industry or whatever, but that didn't come until she had already hung herself time gotcha. timeline wise. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I was talking about that except for that I knew <laughs> that they really went into the ins and outs. Oh yes, oh yes. Why? And her her porn is still they're they're still up as if she's alive. Yeah, which and is we, weird. The other thing that's weird to me too is like, um, God, we we had obviously we have a bunch of porn stars on uh, drinking bros, um, but uh, we had a we had a dinner with Greg Lansky who owns um, mm. uh, Vixen, and uh, great guy by the way, married. Uh, his wife helps him run the fucking operation. He's cool with all the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, rad dude. We tried to get him on the show, and uh, he had an unfortunate situation where like his grandfather passed away um the morning of or something but um either way uh he was awesome but i we got to really go over the ins and outs of p- the porn industry and what it's like today and everything else and uh how it's an online business and everything uh a lot of these people are still in a contract so like he has his vixen angels mm-hmm. and once you become an angel you get a contract and it's decent six figures i think it's like 150 a year you know which if you're doing porn or whatever that's not bad yeah Wait, one fifty a year? Yeah. For porn? Yeah. And then whatever outside shit you want to do on your own mm. is your own bag, right? Sure. Uh, a lot of these girls are moving into um, uh, Pornhub where they're monetizing their own stuff. Snapchat, they're monetizing um, where you can get private videos and all that other shit. Um, so it's a good way to get famous, get your name out there, and then continue your own online shit. Anyways, at this dinner, he was like, you know, I think it was uh, me, Dan, and Jared, I believe, were at the dinner. And he was asking us, like, who's your favorite porn star or whatever, right? And the people I had named, he was like, oh, they don't, they don't do that anymore. And I was like, oh. And he's like, no, no, no. Like, she's, like, got three kids and she's married now, you know? And I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And I'm like, but the thing is, you, you're right. These videos live on forever. And you're like, oh, There's you didn't know that? There's people watching it right now 
on X videos that don't even know she's dead. Dead, yeah. And they're just watching this. hundred mm-hmm. percent. And the numbers are going and up and you're like, like hey. that was like a weird part of it too. Oh, of this podcast? Yeah, yeah. Where it's just like, ah, oh, so weird. And even this, like, she did this scene right before she died where she said that the guy roughed her up a little bit too much and she didn't, she wasn't liking it. Oh, but gotcha. you can never tell because they're supposed to act like they don't like it. Right. And so I like I've seen that scene because it's just right. You could just look it up. You a know bu- what I mean? A bunch of girls said that about that James Dean dude that he was too rough with him or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then one of the porn stars was like, well, that's our fucking job. So, you know, right. It's tough back and forth. Like, I don't know. I don't know who's writing all that shit. And uh, look, there was a a huge article about why porn has gotten so rough in general these yeah. days. And I think it's because of with the me too sitch and everything else that's going on. This is the only place you can actually get away with it now where it's like, you know, if you take a coworker out on a date, let's say she's in her some rough shit shit. You're probably going to hold back on choking her, you know, uh-huh. otherwise they can roll into HR and be like, look, he was really rough. Sort of choking me out during sex. Uh-huh. I think more and more people are going online for this type of shit. Right. Um, and that's just my guess. Uh-huh. But when that popped up in the headlines the other day, it was like, ah, the culture's gotten rough. This has gotten rough. Porn's gotten rough. And I'm like, well, it's because the culture's gotten softer. People are going to other avenues to see this shit because they can't live it out anymore. Right. Uh, which is my guess. Whereas back in the day, that, that's all you were, you know, you were kind of doing that shit all the time, right? Two. Like 80s wise. You were doing coke. Fucking throwing people around. Sure, you pulling still, hair. Yeah, like Sean Penn. He could still backhand Madonna and right. you'd be like, yeah. And it's really like part of the... It was part of the thing. Now it's not anymore. Yeah, we have checked all the boxes. Boxes today, um, yeah. <laughs> it's called The Last Days of August, by the way. The podcast. Oh. I would check it out. That's it The Last very, Days of August, huh? It's, that's the uh, podcast. It's called yeah, yeah, The yeah, Last yeah. Days yeah. of August, yeah. I like the name of that. Yeah, me too. It was yeah. really good. All right. What, what are these, like one-offs that you're listening to? Is it is just like a season? Yeah, so they'll have like, I think I should probably start like a podcast club where I give you guys my... You know what's weird? You could be the Reese Witherspoon. She does like books and shit. Yeah. You could do podcasts of like, hey, man. Hey, I listened to this one. Yeah. Because you search through everything and listen mm, to like random my, shit across the board. Most favorite is stuff like this, which is basically a documentary, an audio documentary. Where a lot of research, a lot of real audio, a lot yeah. of real interviews, and kind of going on an investigative like trail. So mm-hmm. August, last days of August was really good if you like that. Okay. All right. Uh, James, you got a crime corner for us? What? Today? We have a crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> All right, now. Mm. Oh, boy. This is from Detective Dave Pratt. Mm. Thank you. Not to be confused. With? Chris Pratt. Of course not. Of course not. And I don't know. This one is uh, dark. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Open up, open up a shade if you're at home. <laughs> Let a little, a little sun peek in. A little sunlight yeah. in. So the FBI finds buckets of heads, arms, and legs in a raid mm. on a body donor facility. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. In Arizona. So basically, this is the place you send your family. They're going to get their body parts donated, whatever. And then sure. they give you the remains either, you know, uh, cremated or however you want to bury them or whatever, whatever. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, So in a horrifying human centipede type situation, they go in, they raid this body donor, organ donor place. Okay. And they find, um, as they said in their testimony, uh, buckets of heads. Ah. Um, You know, um, (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, A cooler full of Male genitalia, just just dicks. a whole, just a whole big cooler of dicks, different dicks. Is it weird that I I I, I want to oh, see what? that? I want to see it. <laughs> I'd like a I'd like a screenshot of that. If anybody's at home, uh, you want to send that in. I want to see it. Nothing makes me laugh more than human penises. Right, and so it's just a cooler, and I'm just in this Is story. I'm sort of bigger. 
like a, like a rocky type sitch where it's yeah 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 meat, so i'm sure it's like freezer. a floor yeah yep. this kind of thing where you open it up and ah, you know well that's a yeti Jesse. no no the big like floor ah yeah 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 kind of thing right gotcha, gotcha, where you gotcha. would keep a lot of deer meat meat yeah, yeah deer meat but in this case genitalia dicks bunch of different dicks brethren different kinds Any of balls colors and um, it just said male genitalia. So ah, it could be somebody's brethren. Could have been a lot of brethren. A lot of brethren, buckets of heads, arms and legs, infected heads, um, and they were all kind of sewn together and strung, like arms, legs, uh, all kinds of body parts. Sure, were sewn together and str- and strung up on the walls. There was also a very Christmassy, like a decoration, mm-hmm, thing. almost like a yep yeah, garland. Sure, 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 yeah. Uh, and then, uh, one, a uh, one thing they found was a woman's head sewn to a male torso, like a Frankenstein. Ah, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And so that's what happened there at the BRC. That was what it's called? The BRC? The BRC. Not well, to be. Not to be confused with the popular <laughs> coffee company that we all know and love. The Biological Resource Center in Phoenix. Ah. Um, so they were in uh, under investigation for uh, possible trafficking, body part trafficking. Okay. So like selling body parts, whatever. Well, that, One, now that's big. Now, right. sewing shit together and then just keeping dicks everywhere mm-hmm. is not too popular. Not really part of that. No, yeah. not part very of that world. Very dirty, very um, everything sort of, they just said it was a... Uh, Walking into a nightmare. No, it sounds like it. Right. Definitely sounds like right, it. Right. Right. Uh, right. 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 Did right. somebody get arrested? Yeah. So they they've all you know it's shut down. People have gotten arrested. The you know Stephen Gore, the owner of BRC, was sentenced to one year in jail. That's it. Mm-hmm. And four years of probation for illegal control of an enterprise but the people running he was just the owner so the people that were actually in the facility were uh taken into custody as well got it one of the uh guys that his family was they were like talking to people that their family member was sent there and Mm -hmm. he's like i got a thing of ashes from them i don't even know if it was my my grandma you know what i mean does it matter it doesn't does it I don't know. I got a, I got a cremation thing, you know? I don't know. I mean, I, I hope it's, it's my family member, but... You would hope, right? No way I to mean, really back check unfor- that. It would be disappointing if you found out it wasn't. Mm, it's, Considering uh, the like road trip that we took him on. No, 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 no. Okay. 100%. But also, would, if I don't like, know... Oh, fuck. If you don't know, ignorance is bliss in that sitch, where it's just like, all right, cool. Well, the, you know, the trial is starting, so a lot more stuff is going to come out yikes yeah 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 so yeah 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 <laughs> yeah i don't know a year you only, a, you only get a year for, a year for that so if you do any of that kind of stuff again no bigs yeah um i almost want my dick chopped off and preserved saved in a freezer with a bunch of other dicks eh, depends mm-hmm. depends Think on about it on uh how many dicks were in there you know it was a lot. What are we talking? 40, 50 or like in the hundreds? Like I'm saying, a big, you know, f- uh, floor freezer. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, I mean, piled. I, I, no, I, I would want mine separate, obviously, would like above the rest of the dicks. Would you want them to try and make uh, like a Frankenstein? Depends on who it was, who I was uh, sewn to, you know? Mm-hmm. If it was somebody hotter, yeah, maybe. Maybe, th- you know? Or if it was somebody less fortunate, you know, that maybe maybe they needed my dong sewed on them, right? <laughs> to boost their 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 you know their dead self esteem. Where yeah. it's just like there was a family member who was just like, man, maybe a, like you know, a hypothetical here. And again, I'm tossing out a hypothetical. Sure. Open casket stitch. Uh, they were big fan of of let's say it was a male porn star. It was nude or something, you know. Right. It was like, oh, this is Ricky and Ricky. We we need to show him. It, with his full brethren out to the people. It's believe. La- believe. Believe, right? <laughs> Let's say it's a guy named Believe. B L E V E. Believe Thompson. Believe North Cutson. Um, yeah, North Cutson. <laughs> or uh, in yourself. 
Mm-hmm. You know, believe mm-hmm. in yourself. Bleeb. Um, Bleeb. Let's say mm-hmm. open casket sitch, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people haven't seen Believe's penis before. <laughs> And they wanted to use mine because I'm dead at this point, obviously. Mm. They wanted to use my brethren and sew it onto his <laughs> um, for the display, you know, because usually an open casket stitch is two to three hours. Mm-hmm. And they wanted to use that kind of as a stunt cock type of deal. Right. Um, for his dead body. I, I'd be honored by that, I think. Have you ever been to an open casket? Do they have? Is it erect? It's creepy. It's creepy. Is it always erect? Or you is, what are you, you never get to see the penis, mm-hmm. but... If, so I'm if confused by your story. There is, yeah. there is, you know, family who I'm sure would want to say, hey, here's my fully naked man, uh, husband, beloved son, uncle, whatever it is. I right? don't know what's happening. Laid out, mm. full brethren out so you could, uh, like, respect his I whole body. I don't know what's going on right now. You want to respect it. You want to see his whole body one more time. Because mm-hmm. usually in an open casket stitch. I can't follow it. I um, really don't know what's happening. Sometimes they only have half of it open. Yep. Like a half door open. Where yep. you're just like, oh, I'm only seeing the top half. <laughs> so you want full doors open. Double door up. I want to go full suicide doors up. Mm-hmm. I want it like a Tesla door on the, uh, you know, or like a Lambo door. Where it's just like, boom, casket goes up and above. You see my whole shit laid out. My whole brethren. Everything. And then you can have that one lasting image in your mind of like, man, last time I saw him, he was buck naked, dude. And he seemed happier than fuck. I am going to let you know, like, if <laughs> you pass before me, which, what do you reckon? You probably will, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to do some kind of comedic funeral. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, whatever it is, because it used to be bury me inside the Gucci store or whatever. So I was, I would think Does every time Does the audience you, know this story? Yeah, because you would text it to me every time No, no, but go, have we ever told this on air? I think we have before, but it was many episodes ago. But every flight that I go on right before it takes off, I text you. If I die, bury me inside the Gucci store. Not I love you. Not anything. Just that. Well, no, I usually say I love you. But then Mm -hmm. the last text is if I die, bury me inside the Gucci store. And so then I'm like the whole time I'm thinking if this is the fucking last text (laughs) that I get (laughs) that I have to like. Right. Then I'll have to do it. So whatever you're into at the time, I'm sure it'll change. Changes all the time. Now you want some erect penis in the double door. I don't I don't I didn't say erect. Like, that would be too uncomfortable for people. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, unless, you know, you were going to, because a lot of people, then, then you usually close the casket and then you go to the refreshment ceremony. Um, I'm blanking on what it's called. Yeah, the wake. That's it. Um, the refreshment ceremony? Yeah, you have, you, there's usually like. <laughs> the refreshment ceremony. Have you been to a, a funerals? Um, it yeah, sounds but like I you know. haven't. Usually there's. It a, sounds like you haven't. No, but it's a wake. A, like I knew a, it was a wake. Here's the thing that creeps me out. Usually there's a meat tray. There's always a fucking meat tray, and it's uh, and and cheese and some other stuff. But it's out. It's out, and so it's wet. And you're like, man, there's a somebody's died in there, and then they're they're like, I'm just slapping on turkey. Exactly. You got to feel it, and it's like, it's like skin for the last time. Like you're squeezing their skin. You're like, fuck. It's not. It's not. That's there's, so it's I call it the refreshment ceremony, whatever, man. I never try to eat at those things. Refreshment ceremony. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's 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 bad. Um, right. So if in this in this instance, right, like let's say we you know, we didn't have any cash and you're trying to double up because they do that, too, where it's like, hey, we'll have the refreshment ceremony in the other room. Right. <sighs> trying to double they up. Never say refreshment ceremony. Whatever you want to call it. Uh-huh, party. You want to call it a party, a life celebration, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm leaving that up to you. The terms and the the naming of it can be up to you. Uh, Oh, yeah. I'll name it something weird. Yeah, 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 the Ross and Patterson uh, Aquatic Center, whatever you want to call Uh whatever I'm doing in there. Mm -hmm. Um, If you can't afford. Yeah. Ross Patterson dance off. 100%. If you can't afford another room for the refreshment ceremony and it's got to be in there, right? Yeah. Then go erect penis, leave the double doors up and then just put onion rings on it. On just the serve some onion rings on it. Yeah. Tower. On the, just make an onion ring tower out of my heart. And penis. then I think I can probably get your hand or get the embal- person that's embalming you or whatever to get your hand to hold a dip of some sort. Uh, yeah, ketchup. Yeah. Or, or a ketchup in one hand. I think a, maybe like a spin a south, dip. I think like a Southwest <laughs> ranch would be good with those <laughs> onion, ring, onion rings, right? Because you're going to yeah. pull off. A zesty ranch. Ooh, that would be fun. How about yeah. this? 
You pull an onion ring off my dong, How goes zesty it? ranch out of my hand. Do you mind if I take the dong off? Or you want it on your body when you're buried? I'm indifferent about it because okay, I would imagine so you would want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to keep your dong. We've got to be in overtime now, now right? <laughs> overtime. Overtime. Going into overtime. 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 Going into overtime. There is no time. <laughs> there is no time, Jesse. That's exactly overtime. what happens. You pull out. You pull <laughs> off my dick just no, like listen, that. Listen, listen, listen. And then boom. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna have it be like you're saying on the refreshment table, and it'll be the <laughs> ring tower. I'll make it go super, super high yeah. above the the dong. Yeah. And so as people take it off and as people dip, they'll slowly reveal my full what it is yeah yeah my on pain. the table oh though. oh fuck and that's a nice surprise the for them totally like, nice i got you yeah yeah you just yeah, ate yeah. off of ross's dick yep 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 you just ate off of ross's your dick. mom would love it my mom would be cool with it you know what grandmothers I mean? like, grandmothers would, love it. would yes. be great with grandchildren it. Would grandchildren would love it they yeah, would yeah. laugh yeah right? belly oh. laughs oh. i got the dick ring yeah i got the dick <laughs> ring see daisy yeah, yeah so that for sure and then I'm going to have to figure out what to do with your body. I don't know if I want to go. I don't know if I want to go coffin. I think I want to go dangling from the ceiling, maybe. Uh, look, it depends. Kind on, of like in a pose. Yeah. I What What would I prefer? Pinata style. No. Boom box, floor, cardboard. And then me have already you, in some form of pop and lock move. Okay. Like, um, or in a spin. Some type of hand spin I'm also where like my legs widen are up. Widen your eyes open. Well, yeah, I where my is legs what are I'm up. Do. Yep. And so you are looking straight and straight like ahead. Yeah. 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 And because I, I want people to guess, like I want to be in a windmill position on the cardboard right and in front of the box. And then that'll be fun pictures that people can take with you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of like, oh, and they can get down there too and exactly. kind of like Selfies. break dance with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah selfie yeah, yeah, with my yeah, dead yeah, body, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tag me on Instagram at ST James, ST James one more time. Uh, Cause I'll be dead and I want those followers. But mm -hmm. uh, then you take that. And then I think you immediately hard cut it once the food and everything is gone to train drops of Jupiter. And then you make everybody leave. Like you make everybody feel super uncomfortable after that. Of like, mm -hmm. Hey guys, uh, respect my wishes. I'm going to need some privacy now. Yeah. Train drops of Jupiter. And everybody walks out. And um, I'm just eating an onion ring <laughs> next, like slowly. And just dipping out of my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out of the zesty Southwest A ranch. Southwest ranch, I think, would be great with those onion rings, too. don't you think? Yeah, I good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you want to take my penis and then have that bronze and above your mantle, that's fine. I'm... Um, or uh, laid out like a bass fish. Remember those talking bass fish <laughs> that were a thing for a while? You press the button and it... Like so it popped out. Little... Yeah. So if you want the head to pop out and sing a song to you, hello, my baby, hello, my darling, whatever that, you know, um, <laughs> I'd rather do clean up at the fucking bucket of head fucking BRC than to have my, my pop out like that and sing a song to me. <laughs> yep. I'd so rather the dick fold in half and just kind of work. The balls, I'd actually the balls rather jiggle. work at the BRC <laughs> before it got raided. <laughs> And be made to, I mean, they were halfway through a Frankenstein situation. I would, I would rather be on the bottom end of that situation than to have that be above my bed or in my house with just a little mouth. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. You know, like just mm -hmm. singing just old, you know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Right, Someone's right. in the kitchen. I know, <laughs> like so, like she's shitty oh, songs. No, like I know, that. like a Papa Umau Mau, Papa Umau Mau, Mau, Mau. Papa Umau, Mau. Mau. and then the balls slap against the wall because uh -huh. they move as well, and it's all yep. battery control with a yep. remote. <laughs> it's like, oh man, we've been Who in overtime. That? Well, that's your grandfather's cock right there. You so. have entered overtime at your own risk, risk, by the way. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, uh, shall we? We shall. Look, man, I was talking about this kid earlier. I found him. Um, <laughs> Kyle Booger, B-U or Bugha, 
It's in quotation marks or, or, Bug or quotes. Hawk. Yeah. B U G H A Giersdorf. Uh, he is the kid who won the Fortnite oh. World Cup solo final okay. at Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York. It was in, it was, that's where they played the fucking U.S. Open, dude. In New York City. Uh, that was last week. $3 million. He says that he practices six hours a day on this, and this is his craft and his art. Look, man, if you're winning $3 million a tournament, I'm not. Who, who's to say that you're not right? Um, f- yeah. oh, he's, I'm sorry, he's 16 years old. It's not that you can't make money at it. It's not that it's, it's just Oof. I worry socially about him. Yeah. That boy. It's bugger. I guess it's it doesn't B-U-G-H-A. matter if you have three million, but man, that's crazy, man. Um, and at this thing, they handed out thirty million dollars in prizes for the whole weekend of all of these video games. Jesus Christ, man! Maybe we're doing life wrong here. And I think we are. Maybe. I think we definitely are. Maybe it's it's got a Twitter handle for this guy. Let's see if he's got how many followers he has. He is like eighty eight thousand times more followers than me. I'm I am living life wrong. And it's him, like, it's some Japanese anime character. Um, Perfect. Fuck me, man. I need to, I need to get to that level. You yeah. Know? I need to get to that level where it's just all me and Japanese anime mm-hmm. shit everywhere I go. Where it's just yeah. like, oh, man. There Again, he is. that would be my nightmare. But sure, you yeah. have fun with that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Um, anywho's. We're going to get out of here. I want you to go home tonight and pick out a spot on that mantle where that's uh, up, 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 um, 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 up, 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 um, 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 where the, the talking uh, bass stick is going to go uh, for you and my balls. Brethren. The brethren. Where the brethren's going to go. Was Believe Northcutson here on the show? I don't remember. I think it was. Eh, whatever. It's a thing now. So. D'Anthony brought it up the other day, and I'm like, where is that from? I don't know. Us. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, weird show, Jables, but I loved it. I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.